What's going on everybody? It's Alex here from Backyard Sprouts and today's video is going to be about Listeria testing. We're going to go over how we do it and why we started doing it. So stay tuned because that's coming up next. All right, everyone, so if you've been following our drainage journey, you know that one of the reasons we had to back out of our deal with Whole Foods was that we did not have months of Listeria back testing to show them, and that was one of their requirements to be a vendor with them. So as RJ and I started doing research, we we're like, okay, wow, this is something we probably should do just to cover ourselves legally, right? We don't want anyone getting sick. Now, if you're not familiar with Listeria, Listeria is a bacteria. It causes listeriosis, which can be a mild symptom illness, right? Just some nauseating headaches, that kind of thing. It can also lead to blood infections and be a cause of meningitis. It definitely affects women who are pregnant, right? And they can pass it on to their unborn child and anyone who is elderly or sick is at risk. So you really want to be careful that you don't have any kind of listeria office on any of your products. In the U.S., the most recent outbreaks have been around raw and pasteurized milk, uh, fruits and vegetables, right? Raw fruits and veggies, raw undercooked meats and fish, stuff like that. Listeria naturally exists in soil and leaves and just kind of like out can be in the air, right? Can be airborne. So obviously with us growing with seeds and dirt, we want to make sure that we don't have any listeria anywhere. So one of the things that we started doing was testing. We had done it monthly. Now we do it every uh, two months. We found a group called Midwest Laboratories They're in Omaha, Nebraska, and basically they send us a box, all right, and it has a styrofoam cooler in here, and then it has two tests. So uh, they also are going to send a sheet that basically you fill out with the sample number and then when you test it, and I'm not going to hold that up close because it has some of our personal information on there, but understand that you'll have to write that on that sheet. This is what the sponge package looks like, okay? So you'll come with a sponge, Listeria sponge. You'll put a label on and you'll talk about the time you tested, um, the sample you did and the date you tested at. And it has the sample number on here, which is what you put on the sheet I just showed you. It also has a pack of gloves in here that you're gonna rip off and use when you sample. And then it also comes with an ice pack because these need to stay cold. So usually what I do is I get this container, I open it up, put the ice pack in the freezer, put these in the fridge, and then within a week I try to test and then send them back. Now, I am not a scientist by background. I had no idea like how to, pro I mean, obviously I took science classes um, and I know you don't wanna contaminate things, but I wasn't exactly sure what we should be testing. And basically when I spoke to Midwest Labs, they're like anything that can come in contact with the soil, right? Anywhere where listeria could be. So I vary what we test on. I test the sides of the trays. We wash them in between every use and planting, but I will swipe like today, I'm gonna to be swiping the inside. Um, I also have tested the knives we use for cutting. I've, I've tested like swipe the containers prior, even though they don't come in contact with anything, they're covered. I've swiped the table our uh, scale um i've pretty much like the metal racks here i've clean. i've tried everything just to make sure I've, you, you know the knife i just don't want i want to make sure we cover all our bases so i kind of rotate through uh definitely anything that comes in close contact with the micros is going to be more risk so i'm just going to turn so you guys can see so i have some stuff growing here and basically i'm putting the gloves on all right, I'm gonna go into the bag. And obviously once you put the gloves on, this tears off, don't uh, touch things. <laughs> you just wanna get a good clean swipe. So the sponge is here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna come inside. So these are actually growing and I just am careful not to touch anything, but I wanna make sure nothing comes in contact with this. And I just get a good clean swipe put it back in the bag and then seal it up. And you can do this, like I said, with anything you wanna make sure it's solid. So obviously remove the gloves, they send you a pack of gloves per test. And then I'll repeat the process and test um, another tray. I think today I'm gonna to actually do the colanders that we soak the seeds in, just double check. Cause seeds can also obviously have listeria on them. So 
like I said, make sure you um, are sending these off. Like once you get this, this goes back into the cooler right away. Take it to the UPS store, drop, it's prepaid. Midwest Labs is gonna test the samples. Then they send an email back to us with the results. So basically it says listeria test, like no listeria found, right, clear. And then I just save those and file them to make sure if anything ever were to happen, we have that information to show like, hey, look, we test for listeria. We have not had any outbreaks like you know, we're trying to cover ourselves because we are serving people food, right? We got to be careful. We don't want anyone to get sick, but we also need to be very aware of the legal liabilities that can come from that. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys again, rip it open, put the gloves on. And now I'm going to do the colander that I use to soak our sunflower shoot seeds in. Okay, so opening it up. So here's the colander, right? I'm just gonna do a nice big swipe inside. And this will be good, you guys can see now. So like the sponge is white normally and you can see where I just swiped. And these are clean, right? We clean them, but naturally they get dirt. But you can see how it just picked up a whole bunch of debris on there. Drop it in the bag, seal it up. Put it in the container with the ice pack and then take it to the UPS store same day. You don't want these to sit out or uh, get warm or go back and forth in different temperatures because they can affect the results, so. Highly recommend Midwest Laboratories. They've been fantastic to work with. Uh, we have not had any issues with them so far. They're super consistent. They send everything on time. Everything gets done really fast. And honestly, they were just one of the few laboratories that when I was calling around trying to understand like, hey, where the heck do I go for this? Took the time to answer my questions. And you know, I was like, hey, I've got no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Can you kind of explain to me the process? and they answered all of my questions. So we've been sticking with them now for going on two years and have no complaints. So we can drop a link below so you guys can check out their website and see if it's something you wanna pursue. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, drop them below. Please make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps share our videos with other entrepreneurs like you and people who are really looking to get into microgreens or even just growing in general as a hobby. All right, we'll see you guys next time.